It's Kyle here, and today I'll be reviewing Crusaders, The Epic History of the Wars for the Holy Land by Dan Jones. As the title implies, this is a non-fiction book that explores the history of the Crusades. Uh, it's a very wide-ranging book. It kind of covers the entire history of the Crusades, um, so it doesn't get super detailed in a, into individual events. It gives you more a broad outline of the entire history, which obviously takes place over a few hundred years. Um, so that I think both the strength and the weakness of the book. Uh, it covers an insane amount of content and definitely focuses on some elements of the Crusades that they typically they get overlooked in more uh, popular history of that era. Um, so instead, you know, usually uh, most books or movies or documentaries you see focus on the Crusades, a lot of times focus on the events around Jerusalem and. Um, specifically uh, with very famous warriors like Richard the Lionheart and Saladin and stuff like that. Um, and this book does cover that. There is a chapter about that, but it also focuses on um, crusades that took place in Europe, um, the uh, reconquest of Spain, um, uh, the battle against uh, religious heretics from the Catholic Church in, um, in France, um, wars in the, uh, the Baltic, that were considered crusades by the Catholic Church at the time. And definitely those are events like typically people don't really even think about when they think about the crusades. But even in regard to the uh, the Holy Land and the Middle East, um, some like, crusades typically don't get as much attention in usual uh, history books uh, really explored in this book. Uh, so that's definitely the positive. The downside is, you know, the events you find interesting, you get a little tidbit of it, and it moves on to the next period. And there are several points like, oh, I would have loved two or three more chapters on this one event, um, or this one individual, uh, or this one campaign. But instead, you just get little uh, glimpses of it. So if you're looking for like a broad outline over this entire period of history, this is a great book. If you're wanting to get like a really detailed account of, for example, of Richard the Lionheart, this is not the book for you. Or if you're looking for a really detailed um, um, examination of the Crusades in Europe, like Spain or France, this is not the book for you. But if you kind of want to get an overview of a little bit of everything in relation to the Crusades, it's a very good book. So I'd say if you... Uh, um, if you're interested in this period of history, I definitely recommend it because even though there were some parts I wanted to know more about or read more about, uh, there were some elements that I've never read anything about, so the little overview was plenty to kind of um, get me interested in. I think the, the idea behind this book is hopefully it motivates you to kind of like, oh, I found this part interesting. Let me go find a book or a documentary that kind of explores this aspect of the Crusades in even more detail. Um, I think it's a good entry way to kind of introduce you to the historical era, era of the Crusades and maybe figure out what elements of it you find interesting and you'd like to learn more about. If you've already read a ton of books about the Crusades, I'm not sure if this book is really for you. Um, you might find it a little bit too broad and not as detailed as you might enjoy. Um, with that being said, I did want to recommend another book that I've read in the past about the Crusades that I've really enjoyed a lot. It's one of my favorite nonfiction books ever. It's Warriors of God, uh, Richard the Lionheart and Saladar and the Third Crusade. And this is kind of an example of the more specific book. This book focuses just on the Third Crusade and really examines these two um, monumental leaders, probably the most famous leaders in the entire history of the Crusade. So if you're looking for a more specific book, this is a book I'd recommend. Um, but I, like I said, I would certainly recommend Crusaders by Dan Jones. It's very well written. It's very entertaining. It's just more a broad overview, not as specific as you might want if you've already read a lot about the Crusades. But if this is your maybe your way into learning about the Crusades, an excellent book to get started. So um, definitely recommend Crusaders by Dan Jones. Let me know what is a era of history that maybe you don't know a whole lot about that you would like to read a book like this that kind of gives you a good broad overview of it so you can kind of learn a little bit and maybe see if you'd like to learn even more. Let me know in the comment section below. Also let me know if you've ever read any books about the Crusades that you really enjoyed a lot, um, fiction or nonfiction. Uh, that's definitely a period of history I find fascinating and I'm always looking for more books to read about eras that I enjoy. Um, so I appreciate any recommendations. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I really appreciate the support. And always subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. Every little subscriber definitely means a lot to me. So anyway, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, and happy reading.